I am Dave. I am a classroom instructor here at Western Welding Academy. And today we are rating some welds. These are some welds that you have sent in to us, so let's check them out. All right, our first weld is Balin. He is 19. He's doing some stick welding. So I look at this. Nice. It looks like you are controlling your speed pretty well. You're not going too fast. Looks like where you started. You should uh, try going back a little bit, uh, a little bit further for your tie-in. You have a little bit of a divot there where uh, you started your new weld off the old one. You do have some. Uh, nice overlap onto the bead that came before it. Looks like your speed changed a little bit. You started out nice and slow, then you went a little fast, and then you slowed yourself back up. Try to maintain that speed a little bit nicer. Steady your hand a little bit more to try to get yourself a straighter toe line there. That is looking pretty nice. Remember, watch that speed to maintain consistent speed. Keep your hand supported so that uh, you can try to get a straighter toe line for uh, the whole length of your bead. Overall, pretty good. I like your weld that you put down for us. Remember to support your hands so that uh, you can hopefully get a steadier, cleaner toe line as you go along. Try to maintain your speed so you have a more consistent speed. Nice overlap that you have here. Pretty good. I say keep up the strong work. I give you an 8 out of 10 on this. So now we're looking at Bryce. Bryce is 16. He's doing stick welding vertical up with 7018. You seem to be having some issues with a little bit of undercut on the side there, I see. Boy, is that a crack right down the middle that I'm looking at? You seem to be struggling with staying consistent with your movement. I see some, uh, some bigger steps at certain parts and other parts are looking kind of steady. Maintain that consistent speed as you go through it. Watch that long arcing at the beginning. Looks like you got Got some porosity at the beginning. Might have been startled by your stick arcing up at the very beginning there. Remember, calm down, move slow, stay with it. I like how you are progressing with not going too fast. All your dimes are not spread apart too far except for certain parts. So you're just not being real consistent in everything you're doing. But do try to clean up your weld after you are done. I'm seeing all that buckshot, those BBs that are on the side there. Keep giving it more time. It will get better as you go along. All right, Bryce, do remember, maintain your uh, consistent speed as you go along so you don't get steps in your weld as you're going. Watch your speed so that you're not getting undercut on the side and keep at it. Nice work. I'll give you a six out of 10 on this. All right, I see Fernando. He is 17. He's giving me some stick welding. Very nice. I see a couple of spots where it looked like you changed your speed a little bit, where you had a nice speed and then you maybe went a little faster, took some bigger steps. You're not getting out of control. I'm not seeing a lot of undercut there. You did clean your welds up nicely. I'm not seeing any overlap. I would like to see uh, each one of these beads a bit closer to show that you are actually giving me some overlap so you can tie the two in together. You're not not long arcing. I'm not seeing porosity. I like what you're doing. Keep doing more. We like welds like this. Keep doing what you're doing. Remember, maintain that speed. Watch that puddle so that will tell you how you should be moving. You are staying nice and straight, so that tells me that you are supporting your hand very well. I like how you're working. Keep progressing. Keep sending us more. I'll give you an 8 out of 10 on your welds. We're looking at Hayden. He is 15. He's stick welding. He writes us, I'm 15 years old. I'm from Michigan. I have never welded a day in my life before. I was running a 6013 eighth inch rod on quarter inch steel plate on flat. I'm a big fan of you guys. Keep up the good work. I love the content. Thanks, Hayden. Thanks for the comment. Great to hear that uh, you like what we're putting out there. Now, as I'm looking at your weld here, I'm seeing a lot of changes in your speed. Places where your bead is a bit thinner and then a bit fatter, where it is starting to stack up. Try to clean up your beads, your welds, after you weld on them. I can see where it has been scored on the side, so I can tell that you haven't uh, taken a wire wheel to it. Also, with all those BBs on the side, try to clean it up a little bit, and that'll take some of that junk away so we can actually see the penetration into the parent material that you have. From what I'm looking at, it does look like you have decent penetration into there. That bead that's on the left is a, a bit more consistent than the one that's on the right. Try to maintain that speed that you are moving along at. You are staying pretty straight, but try to uh, make sure you support that hand. That might get that second bead to look a little more like that first bead. I'm liking what you're doing. Give us some more. Keep at it. Good job. Hayden, I like your enthusiasm. I, I like how 
you are sticking with it, stay with it a bit longer. Give us some more time under the hood. It will show up in your welds. Your beads could be a little more consistent on your speed. That will make them come out a little more even throughout the entire length. Overall, I like uh, all that you're doing. I'll give you a seven out of 10 on this. All right, we're looking at Jack. He is 17. He's doing a little MIG welding here. Very consistent. Nice toe lines. It almost looks like you are a little heavier on the bottom of the fillet there as opposed to on the side. Maybe try to change the angle of your gun to uh, aim a little more towards uh, the upright part as opposed to the bottom part, which will even your weld out onto both pieces to ensure that you have good penetration onto both of them. I like how consistent your speed is. Everything is spaced out kind of even throughout the whole thing there. You do have some kind of big steps, so maybe watch that speed, make sure that uh, you are watching your puddle so that you are getting good penetration, a nice even bead the whole time. But overall, I'm liking what you're doing. It is looking pretty good. Little tweaks to it can make it a little bit better. I do like your welds that you put down there. Remember, watch your speed so that each one of those little dimes that you're stacking up are nice and even, nice and close. Watch your angle that uh, you have your gun at so that you are going evenly on both pieces of your parent material. But overall, I think this is an excellent weld. Good job. Keep it up. I'll give you an 8 out of 10 on this. All right, for our last weld of the day, we're gonna take a look at Vinny. Vinny is 13, he's giving us some stick welding. He says, I'm doing 7018 532nd. What would a good beginner heat be so I don't stick a lot? If you're sticking a lot, might have a little bit to do with your arc length, but look at how tall that bead is. It doesn't look like it's really burning in so much, so maybe turn your heat up just a little bit. Give us five or 10 more amps and see what it does for you. As I'm looking at this, I'm really seeing it lay on top, not really burning in. But then again, you might be used to working with thinner rods. So if you're running the same amperage that you are saying on an eighth inch, and now that you've moved up to a 532nd, that might be why this is looking as tall and lumped up as it is. Uh, for the most part, you do have uh, some good speed that you're going in or consistent speed that you are doing in there. There. When you get down towards the bottom, the bottom part of that weld, you weren't quite as consistent, but that top one and those bottom ones are looking kind of nice. You are paying attention to the speed that you're going at. You are watching your puddle. Try to get yourself uh, more in the habit of doing as straight of a line as you can. Keep at it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I will also add into there, Vinny, I hope you were not welding in Crocs. Remember, proper PPE is crucial. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and just assume that you got out of your boots and got into your Crocs afterwards just to take this picture. So Vinny, props to you for trying a heavier stick, a 532nd stick. Keep up the good work. Go up with your amperage a little bit. Yes, make sure you're paying attention to the distance of your stick to your material. It looks like you do have some porosity in there. Try to uh, maintain a, a straighter line. That way you'll get your beads coming out a little bit nicer. Make sure that you are cleaning up your welds. Wire wheel them after you actually finish them because we can't quite see what the weld looks like being that it's still covered in slag. But I'll give you a 7 out of 10 on this. Keep up the good work. Keep sending us more. Well, thank you for all your submissions. It was great taking a look at them. Send us some more if you have any submissions. Hope to see you again.